again. Are we ready to hear today's story? Here we go in one, two, three. Hi guys, thanks for joining me for our story today. Hasn't it been so great learning about how Jesus is the bread of life, how he loves to fill up our hearts on the inside with love and joy and peace? Today, I wanna to talk about God's goodness. God loves us so much. His love is like this beautiful, clear water. He fills up our hearts so much that our hearts overflow and we can then share his love to our friends and our family. That water is lovely and clear, isn't it? But then sometimes in life, we make mistakes and our hearts can get a bit dirty. And sometimes in life, people might do something that hurts us on the inside and our heart can get a little bit dirtier again. When we try and fix our hearts, it doesn't work, does it? I've still got dirt and yucky stuff in my heart. We need Jesus to come and fix our hearts for us. He loves us and that's why he died on the cross for us to heal our hearts and make them all beautiful and clear again. Jesus is the one who can take away all the bad stuff in our heart and make it clear again. But God loves us so much that not only did he give us Jesus to take away the bad stuff in our hearts, He's also given us other tools to protect ourselves from making bad decisions or getting hurt in the first place. It's called the armor of God. It's like a suit that we can put on every day that protects our hearts and our minds, our thoughts and our actions. God wants to help us live the best life that we can live. He wants us to be happy and he wants our hearts to stay clean and pure like this water. The armor of God is something that we're going to be learning about in the coming weeks. God is such a good God. He loves you, he loves me, and he loves everybody around us. Let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that Jesus can make our hearts clean and pure and happy again. Thank you that you help us to live a great life Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for our story today. Now it's time for our brand new memory verse. Hey guys, are you ready for our memory verse this time? This one's a really fun one. So I hope you're ready with big bulging muscle. You ready? Here we go. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians 6 verse 10. Now we're going to do a super muscle power charge version. Are you ready? I want to see big bulging biceps. Let's go there. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You got it. Ephesians 6 verse 10. That was brilliant. Hands up if you enjoyed today's story. I did. Until next time. Bye everyone.